Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to extract the first date of purchase of any customer. Like the last purchase date as well can actually be extracted, which means when was the first time this particular customer made a purchase and as well when was the last time he placed the purchase. So now if you look at what we have right here right now, we have this customer to have his first purchase on August 5, 2020, uh, right? The last purchase is going to be March 30, 2021. If we go down, we're going to see we have more customers right here. This is exactly what it is. It is highly dynamic. So we have this to be what? To be in June uh, 2020 and here is October 2021. So right now, this is what it is. So it's very dynamic. So let me just show you how to do this with just very simple, you know, uh, pivot table tricks. So now all we need to do right now is just to go to the data source right here. Here is our data source. So as you can see, this is what we have right here. So as a data. So what we're going to do right now, you can actually click anywhere from here and actually click on the uh, insert. So from inside, I'm going to click on pivot table. So from pivot table, what I'm going to do right now is just to use the new sheet, not existing sheet. I'm going to use the existing sheet any longer. I'm going to be using new sheet. So right now using new sheet, I'm going to click OK right here. It's going to actually default itself to a new sheet. So from there, I'm going to actually have to bring my customer down right here. This is all the customers I have, right? Can you see that? These are all the customers I have. But I don't really want this grand total. So what am I going to do? I'm going to have to remove this grand total away from here. So I'm going to actually right click and actually make sure I have it removed. There is no grand total. So it has been off from here. So but right now, what I'm going to do is just I have to make sure I give it or uh, make it bolder than what we have right here. So exactly. So it stands out, so we can see this better. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to add my first purchase and last purchase date. So right now I'm going to actually have to add this date right here. And for the second time, I'm going to have to add this date again. But what you see right now is some kind of weird, right? Do not worry, as it is giving us count, which we don't really want. So I'm going to actually have to turn this to customer. So go to the top level and go to design. From this, uh, yeah, from design, I'm going to go to report layout. So I'm going to choose on show in tablet form exactly we have customer just to show us customer name so right here what we need to do right now oh sorry so click back on it oh so we are actually away from that shit so here we go so right here what we need to do right now is just to turn the first one to what we really want so i'm going to right click on this and make sure i go to what i go to summarize value by what by mean so now i'm going to show this as well i'm going to say summarize value by max so once we've actually done this this is what we need to do i'm going to actually have to highlight this particular aspect right here down to the last level just control shift and down arrow so i'm going to right click on this and make sure i have this particular number formatting selected from the number format i'm going to select this date and what i'm going to do right now i'm going to have to use something okay let us use something like this now something different so i'm going to hit enter so that is exactly what we need so the next thing i'm going to do is just to have this one as well so highlight everything i'm going to right click and i'm going to go to number formatting and i'm going to use the same format to do this so it's going to be date and here we go so exactly so if you look at what we have right here right now we have the first purchase of this particular customer to be uh, 8 5 2020 and we have this one to be uh, 3 30 2020 which is um, February uh, which is March right here so this is exactly what it says so you want to actually verify if this is actually true what you need to do is just to copy the name away from here and see what we can do in data source to see if this is true so just take a look at what we have right here as well as the uh, first purchase date and as well as the last purchase date so if we go back to our data source right here this is where we have our customer in I'm gonna click and actually have this dropped right here to test it out to see if this is working well so I'm gonna say okay you can see right here this is the first purchase 330-2021 uh, is the last purchase the first purchase is 85-2020 so can you see that 85-2020 exactly what we have right here as the first purchase and the last purchase is this particular one that is greater than this this is exactly how you can actually get to you know uh, come up with your first purchase date of a particular customer and the last purchase date of a particular customer just like what we have right here it's highly dynamic so 
I've actually implemented this on a particular project which you would like to know what it is that I'm trying to do right here. If you look at this particular one right here, we have this particular dashboard right here. We can actually search for customer. You see their first purchase and as well their last purchase and you see other things that has to do with the customer's information like the revenue in quantity the transaction how is how many times has this particular customer transacted with us if the customer is a male or female and which city is the customer from let us search for a particular customer right here Femi Greg is a customer if I hit enter I'm gonna see information about Femi Greg and I'm gonna see the first purchase date of this particular customer and if I want to see more about this customer I click right here what it is is actually give me more information about all like other all other customers I have right here if I scroll down now I can keep seeing more customers you know popping in over and over again so the customers I have right here I have their first transaction and as well the last transaction which is the first purchase date and as well the last purchase date so it's very dynamic if I click I'm gonna go back to this particular aspect but what if we type what is not there like I type Lamin Sally if I hit enter this is what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Sari not in our database i'm not gonna see nothing right so the dashboard is highly dynamic you might want to try to see how this is actually created as well i have it right here in my youtube channel so you can actually go and take a look at that i'm gonna be leaving the link of this particular very uh dashboard right here on this particular uh video for you to just go check out so this is about products so this is all our products that we have so you can see you can actually get to see which one is the top product which one is the average and all of that so just go and actually avail yourself the opportunity of seeing what it is that i actually have done right here so if you are just here for the first time all you need to do is just to help me grow this channel by hitting the subscribe button that's gonna help me our channel to grow so seriously so thank you very much stay blessed and stay safe stay out of trouble